Well, good Sunday morning to you, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. It is about 7.20 a.m. Eastern Time here on Sunday morning, July the 13th, 2014. Today's video update is sponsored by Metal Magic in Washington. You can give Chad a call at 698-8555 for all of your paintless and repair needs. And tell them Southern Indiana Weather sent you. Write that number down today, folks, because they do a fantastic job. They're PDR Nation certified. And we do have the slight risk for severe weather in effect for today, so you may end up needing that as time goes by. Here's take a look at current regional radar, and you can see a pretty decent little line of thunderstorms, but it's sort of falling apart as it moves into our area. Now, later this afternoon, we'll see some more scattered thunderstorms develop, but it is sort of an iffy situation today, as I've been telling you. And uh, it's... Uh, that's just unfortunately the way it's going to be. It doesn't look like a strong risk for severe weather today. We are under a slight risk, according to the Storm Prediction Center. Nothing for tornadoes at all, less than 2% all areas. It is for wind. The, the slight risk encompasses the 15% hatch for wind. Hail only at a 5% risk, so again, this is certainly not the strongest severe weather risk that we have ever been under. Uh, it, even, it isn't even the typical run-of-the-mill severe weather risk. It's sort of even lower than that. Typically, we're at 15% on wind and hail. The slight risk is really only for wind this afternoon, and then by the time you move on till tomorrow, they've actually taken the slight risk and pushed it further south, which is what I've been saying the past couple of days needed to have been done anyway, that we really weren't under a risk for Monday. Storm Prediction Center has finally agreed with me on that. That slight risk is now down to our south. Let's time it out on future radar here for you quick. Give you an idea. There's that line in northern Indiana that's sort of destroyed. Here we are by 2 o'clock this afternoon. And you notice there's not a whole lot going on. So uh, if you're one of those people who are scared about uh, severe weather and you're thinking, well, should I go to church or not this morning? It is Sunday morning. You know, go to church and, and don't fear about it. I don't even think we're going to have any thunderstorms around the area until later this afternoon. Here we are by 2 o'clock this afternoon. Nothing going on really in southern Indiana. Finally, just a couple of dots appearing up here those start to go uh, heavy pretty quickly but notice those push into southwest ohio then into northern kentucky really what we've got is just a few isolated showers and thunderstorms popping up this afternoon never really congeals into a solid line until late at night here's 1 a.m in the morning the severe weather chance would be long gone by then uh, and then you get some heavy rain through the overnight hours and just really quickly by tomorrow to give you an idea of what's going on too. We have some general thunderstorms tomorrow to deal with, but I don't think we'll see any severe weather out of us. You see it's all down here in Kentucky. That's with the first cold front. There's actually two cold fronts that's moving through. First one will move through later today. Second will move through tomorrow. And that second one's what's going to usher in the really nice temperature cool down. So it's going to be pleasant around here for a few days, but we do have some severe weather that we've got to get out of the way first. Here's the way your plan your day forecast looks like for today. 91 the Jasper Huntingburg area, 92 Evansville, 92 Tell City and Cordon, 89 in Bedford, 88 the cool spot there in Columbus, 90 in Madison and Vincennes. And again, scattered thunderstorms this afternoon, but I think this morning for your church activities, you should be just fine. Going to southernindianaweather.com and taking a look at your seven day. Scattered thunderstorms possible today. Again, a few strong to severe thunderstorms are possible. I'm not expecting this to be a wide outbreak by any means, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see maybe a warning or two otherwise sun mixed with clouds it's muggy again and um, we're used to it aren't we we're just used to it being muggy it's gonna be another muggy night with rain down to 73 for your low then on monday we've got more rain in the afternoon but only a high of 85 that's not bad but then take a look at this once a second cold front rolls through folks mostly sunny on tuesday and a high of only 74 uh, is, is this july you may have heard this referred to as the polar vortex. This is not technically the polar vortex. It's just a big dip in the jet stream. You can actually think the ty super typhoon Neogori, which uh, hit Japan a few days ago. It's now started to recurve back to the north, go up towards the Bering Sea. It's, it's jacking up the jet stream big time. And so the jet stream is responding by taking a nosedive in our area. Piece of the polar vortex? Nah, it's not really the polar vortex. Okay. But it is cooler weather. We'll take it, no matter what it is. Mostly sunny in 74 Tuesday. Wednesday, partly cloudy, 75. Still not out of the 80s yet by Thursday, 79. Low 80s for Friday and Saturday with rain chances moving back in for next weekend, though more isolated in nature. That's where we stand right now, folks. Remember that any warnings and watches that we would get today will automatically post up to Facebook and onto our Twitter account, at SouthernINWX. Be sure to follow us on there as well if you are on Twitter. I'll have updates throughout the day as needed, folks. I am traveling with my family today, 
and uh, I will try to get onto my phone and post as I can. I'm not sure that I'll be able to be onto my computer, but any of those watches and warnings that we do get will automatically post, so they will still be there, even though I'm not able to be at the computer today. And uh, I'll get on with my phone and post radar shots and other things as I have time. And I should have some this afternoon. So that's it for this morning's video update, folks. Have a blessed Sunday, and we'll see you next time.